What's up all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada. As I do Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Today I am going to be making some junk journal pockets. I have been playing with my new die cuts and I had this great idea on different ways to use this set in particular. Now, I'm not sure what brand they are. I don't know what the set is called. Um, I just bought them secondhand off somebody, and this is how they came in this little sandwich bag. So they have quite a couple shapes. Hi, Lisa, and hi, Patricia. Um, there's a couple shapes in this uh, set here that could be used as pockets. I use this set right here first, um, and I cut out this here. First I arranged um, basically fabric paper. This is fabric that I use heat and bond light in between fabric and uh, packing paper, but essentially turning it, in, turning it into paper. So I have a bunch of that. I've done projects in the past with it where I've uh, placed them on different spots on uh, index cards to make really pretty journal cards. And then I went full on almost like a quilt effect. And so this is kind of the next step from all this is um, I have this new awesome die cut set that would make awesome pockets. Even this one right here would make a, a cute little small pocket. So that is what I'm gonna be playing with today. Um, so if that's the type of thing you guys are into, I do junk journaling live uh, videos pretty much Monday to Friday. Uh, so please do subscribe and hit that like button. Okay, so before I get to cutting it into the actual shape, I am just working with a piece of, uh, this is cardstock, uh, printed on cardstock. I'll use the back of it. If somebody peeks on the back of the pocket, they'll see a pretty design. So I am going to be gluing, gluing, yes, these papers down on to this cardstock. So I did, when I did this, I just put big, they're big pieces of fabric. Um, and I put them side by side. So some of them kind of overlap and they don't really glue down. So I usually sew that. So I still have quite a few, as you can see in this little bucket I have, I have quite a few of these. So I'm still trying to use them up. Um, and this does take a while, especially if you don't have this already done. So like I said, this is um, Heat and Bomb Light. If you want to go get it, I get it at, basically I get it at Walmart. You get like five yards for like, I think it's less than 10 bucks. And it's worth it because it lasts you such a long time. Okay, so, and then we're going to just cut off the extra parts. So this is really the part that is, you know, a little time consuming, but it's not the worst. And I'm only putting the glue down the middle because I'm going to sew all the sides. All these little lines here, I'm going to sew those together. So I'm only gluing in the, in the very end. So let me put this right here. And I did roughly cut them all to be strips about um, like three quarters of an inch. Of course, some of them are a little bit wider because they were, you know, just eyeballed. I'm going to put this over here so that way the extra part is on this side this time. Again, this is what takes most of the time on this project. It is a good way. I gotta use up all these straps anyway. See some of them are squares. Who's all here? Fawn's here. Irene's here. Hello. I don't know where this die cut set is from, to be honest with you. I bought it off somebody on Facebook. And this is how it came. <laughs> I have no idea. And I've never seen this set before, so it could be AliExpress. I'm not I'm not sure. 
You do have smaller pieces for right now. I can't. Okay, here's one. So we're going to put this here. And again, this is a fabric, a heat and bond, and then packing paper. These are all my scraps from past projects. <laughs> I had to open the door for my cat because he was going crazy. It's been a couple days since I've opened the door for him. It's been so cold. Today it's 53 degrees right now, so it's not the worst. But it has been so cold, you guys. Just in, in the city in general it's been really cold um i guess it snowed again <laughs> where i got stuck last time during thanksgiving <laughs> it snowed again in the desert part of california in southern california which is really odd i guess it's not the oddest thing to happen but it's so odd to happen thanksgiving and then this time during the day after christmas I guess they completely shut down that freeway to I-15 and some people got stranded and that sucks. Let's see, this one's a little bit wide, so I'm going to have to do something. Have to cut this. It's right here. And now my parents are got, coming home from California where they were for the past week or so. And um, I hope they have safe travels coming back. The I-15 was still closed this morning, but it should be okay now. They opened it up <coughs> a couple hours ago. Okay, so this is gonna be so pretty since on this one I did a bunch of sides. This one's pretty much just straight. So I think I'm gonna be able to use my favorite stitches on this one. Here's some polka dot one, just like this. That's cool. And now the last row. Do I have one long one? So these are really long. Okay, so this works right here. Okay. Gonna have to cut some of this off, but that's okay. Oh my goodness. Diana, hello, Irene, who else is here? Evelyn, BB, the paper possum. What is up, you guys? Oh my gosh. Okay, so time to cut these out. And then I keep recycling these little bits. Like I keep using them like in little pieces like that. So I keep putting them back in, back in my little scrap pin here. Okay, so now this is the little square that we have that we're going to now go over to my sewing machine. We're like, it comes to me. <laughs> so I use uh, my brother's Project Runway. Uh, CE1125 PRW. I got this at Walmart, so you could probably still find it there, I believe. I moved to South Carolina from New Hampshire about a year ago and can tell you I don't miss the snow. I've never lived in the snow, and I, don't, I really don't want, I'm not the type to like want to live in snow. I'm, I can't. I'm not the type. <laughs> I don't want snow in a month. <clears throat> okay. Try 
Let me get a good angle here. Okay, I'm still trying to work on my camera position here. Okay, so I think I'm going to do my favorite star stitch number 27 for this one. And I'm going to make it the widest and longest it can be. And let's go. I am loving the dark thread color. So it's like little stars, snowflakes across. That is going to be a nice touch. And I'm using the heat and bond light. And that's very important because if you were using heat and bond ultra hold, you could not do these types of stitches because the heat and bond ultra hold doesn't, will not allow you to. It's a non stitch type of adhesive and this is uh you can stitch on top of it so that's why i chose ultra um heat and bond ultra light or light i should say but i have both because both have uses you know Hello, Om. Okay, so next line. The next one I'm definitely going to do a scalloped edge. this and we can cut out the shape. This has really been the longest lasting one of these sewing machines that I've had. I always get a warranty. So if there's any problem, I just take it back. Um, and I've taken several of them back. But this one has lasted me the longest. So I'm very happy. <laughs> some, of the, some of the times it was totally my fault. I'm not going to lie. I touched something I shouldn't have. <laughs> it happens. Okay, so that's good. Okay. spreads off okay so now I do want to do 
do I want to do? Yeah, I do. I want to do the little, because some of these fabric strips have two different fabrics in them. And some of them are kind of loose because there's there was no glue there. Oh my God. Hang on, I'm going to close it up. Get out the door. Oh my God. I don't know what that was, you guys. That was kind of scary. Oh, okay. That's what you get in my neighborhood. Okay, so I'm just going to do um, stitches. <laughs> what was that? That was scary. I don't know what's going on out there, you guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, <laughs> not cool. So I'm just going to do a zigzag stitch and to maybe pretend that was a movie or something. I just heard because that was scary, you guys. I just heard. <laughs> My cat's kind of freaking out. So that's not good either. Did you guys hear that? That was so scary. I hope you guys didn't hear that. That was so scary. Ah, what the heck? Yeah, so I don't live in a safe neighborhood, but I've never heard anything that bad close to me. Okay, that looks super cute. I was afraid that the little uh, stitches were not going to look cute. Oh, they look so cute. <laughs> that looks super cute. Yeah, my cat is like freaking out. I don't even want to look. I don't even want to look. I'm not, I don't know. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do the stitch right here. <laughs> Hi, Gia. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so this looks adorable. I was afraid it wasn't going to look cute, but it does. What is going on, boy? Okay, so let me get all these. Okay, so that looks good. Okay, that looks good. It looks kind of like a mess right now, and it, yeah, it does, but we're going to fix it soon. Hello, Rhonda. Okay. That looks good in that dark color. So now, I am going to get my Sizzix out. What's up, boy? What's going on out there? Oh, my God. That was not scary at all. <laughs> okay. So now we have this and we are going to cut it out into this shape. And I got to decide, do I want the stitches going across or do I want the stitches running up and down like that? That would look kind of cute. But I think I'm going to have to do it this way. Yeah, let's do it this way. And I'm using my scissors. <clears throat> I'm using the big kick. So go ahead. I am kind of off uh, angle here, but you get the idea. I'm cutting it out, and I actually go back and forth a couple of times. Yeah, that happens. It shakes the whole dang table. So dramatic. Last time I did it a couple times. Okay. It always sounds like something's breaking, but everything's okay. Okay. <laughs> what the heck is Boo Boo doing? He is, uh, I, he was looking out the door until I heard some person outside screaming help like they were being murdered. Um, so I close the door. <laughs> close the door. So now he's like kind of freaking out. So I don't know what's going on outside. But I am not trying to find out. So I'm just cutting out, you know, this really pretty pocket. 
Okay. So he's trying to look out the window and he's trying to see what he can do. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so there it is. And it looks wonderful. Oh, I love it. I love it. So let's finish it off. I like to do a border around, around it. Again, because I didn't glue everything down, so some of it might not have glue. I don't want it to be peeling off. <coughs> okay. So, now we are still on zigzag stitch, and I think I'm just on default. Um, And by default, I mean, like, it's just on number four, and I didn't touch any of the settings. Yep, just keep crafty. <laughs> okay, so the easy part is, of course, the straight lines. pretty in the dark i did it in i thought this like violet fuchsia type uh color would be cute but i honestly like the darker darker thread so much better now here comes the hard part of doing um sewing around the edge of the scalloped so wish me luck. I have to just like position my needle right at this little corner where the it's kind of hard to see on camera where I have to position it, but I have to keep it in this certain spot for it to look right. And if I get too far away, then it doesn't look as good, but it's okay too. There we go. See, I don't think that one went well. <clears throat> Ooh, this is hard. I could you could alternatively not even worry about this. I like, don't even do it. <laughs> alternatively, I could have left this alone, but I didn't want to. And I ruined it. And I'm just kidding. It's okay. <laughs> that didn't go as smoothly as this one did. And I don't know why, but it's probably because I was on camera. <laughs> but anyways, here is what this looks like. Again, on the back, I did it on scraps of uh, cardstock scrapbook paper that I had in my scrap stash. So that looks super cute. With, with the darker thread. I love that so much more. Okay, so I wanted to do... Isn't that pretty? Hello, Celeste. Nice to see you. What's wrong, Booble? What's wrong, Booble? <laughs> I wanted to do a fun one. And that is going to be like a fun shape because this is kind of like a preview of, of stuff that I wanted to do with these particular sets of die cuts that I bought from this person on Facebook. <clears throat> There's this uh, doll, what is this called? The dress form? Yeah, dress form. And I, I didn't have any die cuts that were shaped. Everything was like this. You know what I mean? So I got this dress form. I also got these uh, little, little like chicken, little chicks, baby chicks, and bunny and an egg. And then there's this one. I also bought this bird and then this set of like flowers, if you can see. So I'm going to try and do like this style of like all these die cuts. And I think those would be so pretty as embellishments. That's what I had in mind in particular when I bought those sets because I looked through all my sets and I don't have any flowers. I don't have nothing. Everything is shaped like this, which has been fine till right now that I want to do something else. So let me do this dress for. 
that would be pretty. So I'm going to measure it and just cut out a little bit bigger than it needs to be. But I don't want to waste too much material. <laughs> so never cut towards yourself, but you know. <laughs> okay. So let me do this dress for I want to see if this is going to look cute. Which I know it is, but you know. Let's just see. Because I know I was going to do pockets, but now I want to do this dress. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing as, as I just did, though, so light up the waist slightly. Okay, so hopefully this one goes fast so we can get back to um, <laughs> we can get back to pockets like I said I was going to do, but I just want to do this one really fast. <clears throat> and of course when you want to do something fast, it never goes right, right? Never. Okay. What's up, Will You want me to open the door? I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to open the door. <laughs> boo boo. Oh my god. Okay. Well, <sighs> the cat has spoken. <laughs> okay. If something happens to me, it was the cat's fault. So you guys can tell everybody. <laughs> Has it, did anybody see the movie Cats yet? <clears throat> I keep watching reviews on it. And I'm intrigued. Because, <laughs> like, everybody says it's so bad, but, like, it's good at the same time because it's so bad. Almost <clears throat> is what everybody's saying. So I am intrigued. I got that one more piece over here. Yeah, we'll just put this piece right here. So now I want to see the movie Cats. I've never been interested in it. <laughs> now I want to go see it. I don't think it's in movies any in theaters anymore. Or is it? I don't know. But I want to see it. Might be a good laugh. So I like comedies. <laughs> Which I know it's not a comedy. Okay. <clears throat> so I've got this weird shape. And definitely not everything's going to show. Nothing down here is going to show at all. <laughs> Nothing, but that's okay. Let's just get to it. Again, I think I'm going to do my stars. Uh, so number 27, my stitch, and I'm going to make it the longest, biggest can be. Yes, I live right next to the airport, and every 15 minutes, you will hear an airplane. <laughs> it's, but you can't really hear it on camera if I close the door, but my cat demands the door be open. So here we are. Thank you, Jude. I do have a sample set if you're interested. I use the same fabric over and over because I have so much of it.
Cave Blossom, I had a boo boo too. She is an all white cat and she is dead. Oh no, <laughs> I see her and she knows what I mean. She's one of the best cats I've had. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not dead. <laughs> she's dead. Oh my God. I'm like, oh, maybe she's got a taxidermy cat. Like, that's cool. <laughs> My cat is not deaf, and it's amazing how <laughs> he knows when my husband is outside. Like, he, he got, it took him a while to get used to the car sounds again here at the house, at the new house. But back where I used to live, um, he, and now, actually now, he knows when my husband is outside the door. Like, in the car, like, he just pulled up. He knows the car. I don't know what he hears, but before my husband has even, like, beeped the car alarm, this cat is out there, like, what are you doing? Like, you like, crying that he knows his dad is, like, it's really crazy. So, start crazy. He's quiet all day unless he wants me to throw his toy or he wants me to open the door. Um, other than that, he's quiet. Um, so when his dad gets home, I know it's because he's getting, he's like, meow, 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 meow. And I'm like, okay, it's around the time your dad would get home. I look out the window and he's there. Like, the cat knows before I do. Somehow. Okay. I don't even think that's going to show. Okay, so. And I'm supposed to be doing pockets, but I just really wanted to do this right now. <laughs> okay, so let me get out my uh, scissors. Scissors. Ugh. Some people have the really cool one that's like automatic or whatever. I don't. Mine's like paint crate. I'm gonna run it through a couple of times. Make sure it's cut. I'm probably a little extra with it, but that's okay. I'd rather do it a couple of times than have it not cut up properly. This is like four layers of stuff it has to cut through. Okay. Okay, let's see. We have to kind of free it. Oh my goodness, it didn't cut. Oh no, yeah, it did. Okay. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong area. It did. It's just because it's fabric. See if I can put it back in place. I don't know if I can. Okay, yeah, I can. It's kind of like in a groove. Let me run it a couple more times. Should have cut it, but let's just do it a couple more times. much better. Now I just have to cut where the thread is. It's a little too much for it, I guess.
Okay. I bought these because I thought that they would make really cute embellishments. Okay, that looks cute. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot that I did that didn't even show, but in the final results. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. Okay, so. Now, I still want to stitch around the edges like I did with my pocket. Yeah, that was a workout. <laughs> Am I rough on the machine? My bad. Okay, so we are on the zigzag stitch. <clears throat> like I said, there's this particular groove I kind of have. For it to do this properly here. This right here. probably do another pocket arch <laughs> since this is totally not what the video is about. I just gotta try this idea out. I've been waiting for a while to try this. <laughs> Is kind of precious, you guys. You need the vagabond, I know, but I don't like buying multiple versions of the same item. <laughs> I'd have to sell this one first. <laughs> this looks cute though, I love it. Okay, so. <laughs> Like the video says, we're making pockets. <laughs> so let me make a pocket. Let's see what is this big enough? This is big enough for this. Just about. So let's do a little one. A little itty bitty one. Again, this set, I don't know where it's from. There's no markings on it, but it's a very good quality. Um, I haven't seen any Sizzix dives look like this, um, but I could be wrong. I don't know what set it is. It just came to me in this little <laughs> sandwich bag. I don't know. Okay. So I have my little bucket of scraps here again. I pour them out, but it's just too much. It's just too much. As soon as that cat moves away from the door, I will close it, but I think he's going to be on it for a while. <laughs> it's literally his, like, favorite TV show. And like I said, he's been wanting me to open it now for a while, but it's just been so dang cold that I have not been opening up the door for him. But today it was 53 degrees, which is, I guess, is warm. So I opened it up. Okay, so there's a strip here. Bye, Rhonda. Thanks for stopping by, though, girl.
Oh, this one's going to be cute. Very, very cute. Okay, so now let's cut it out. Again, this is fabric, heat and bond, light, and packing paper. You could also alternatively, alternatively use tissue paper. Okay. Let me put this away before I lose it. <laughs> Far I'm all excited about it and I lose it. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do the scalloped edge with this one, which is another one of my favorites. 65. And I'm gonna make it the widest, longest it can be. Another one of my favorite stitches. Isn't that adorbs? strings because I hate getting them caught in my sewing machines this is okay. and now I want to sew just the little bits of fabric like I said because they'll roll back like that just a little bit of fabric I'm gonna do it in a zigzag stitch default settings on the zigzag stitch there. And one right here. It's not that many. Okay, so just two of them. And now we're going to cut this into the pocket shape. Which, if you don't have the shape, honestly, just I've used these as pockets. Um, you could just use a regular square as a pocket and, you know, zigzag stitch around if you don't have these shapes. Um, so now it's time to cut it into the shape, though. Move my sewing machine aside. Get my scissors out again. Whoops, the plate is fell. Okay, one second. Okay. Okay, okay. So I can't exactly get the scissors in shop, so you have to use your imagination. <laughs> right, it goes in between the plates. What am I doing? Okay. This goes right here. You can also tape it. Some people recommend you tape it. That way it doesn't move. I just try my best. And I hold it on the other side so it doesn't jump around on me. Again, it's cutting through several layers as opposed to just cutting a piece of cardstock. If it was just a piece of cardstock, the first time I ran it through, it would have cut up. But it's a piece of 
cardstock plus thread plus like an adhesive layer. And I'm always safe. I always try and play safe in this. Okay, one more. Let's see how it is. Okay, I'm not cut it out perfectly. Except for these threads. Let me just cut out where the threads are. It's just the threads. Okay, so right there. Cut it out. That's going to make such a cute little mini pocket. Oh my God. I'm like, it's so cute. I think I, I don't think I want to try and sew that because that'd be a little ridiculous. It's so tiny. But let me still sew around the edge of all three sides that I can. This pocket is done. It looks so cute, this little pocket. <laughs> oh, it's adorable. Move this off to the side here. And now they're blowing stuff. Ugh. I hate when they start using those machines. And they're going to get close. So I'm going to have to log off now. <laughs> they're going to ruin my fun. And I can't close the door because my cat. Oh, no, I have to close the door. Hang on. Move. 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 That doesn't mean to stand there. Okay, never mind. They're going to come close to my window, but I'll move. I forgot, Mike. I can't close the door, but I can't leave the door open when they're leaf blowing. So. <laughs> Okay, so this little pocket is going to be cute. Here's it compared to the bigger pocket that I just made. And they are so little. Like, it's so little. It looks adorable. Okay, so I'm going to make one more. One or more of these little ones before I log off. Here is this. And this is just too cute. I, I had to do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for wasting time, but I had to do that. Okay, so let's get this one more down here. Now he's all set. Okay, so let's get these fabric on here. Okay, here's something I can use. Some pieces are way too long. And again, if you wanted to try this, make sure you get the uh, heat and bond light. Because then you can do the fancy stitches. If you're just going to do regular zigzag stitch or even straight stitch, you can use uh, Heat and Bond Ultra Hold. If you want to do fancy little stitches, stitches, then you have to do the light. So just so you know. Kathy, you're too nice. And I'm glad you learned something. I'm always learning. I'm always watching people make stuff. And I always reference back to them. It's always fun just trying out what other people come up with too. One more line. Let's do this polka dot one at the bottom. That would be cute. Here. 
Okay. So now let's sew this up. I'm not going to open the door, Boo Boo. I'm not. The leaf blow it. <laughs> Sorry, this boy just wants me to open the door all day. I'm telling you. Okay, so let's do, what stitch should I do? Let's do another scalloped one because this one just looks so cute and scalloped. So let's just keep doing it. Boo Boo, I'm not going to open the door. You see how he is. You see how he is. <laughs> This time I'm going to use the default settings on the scallop page, so. Yeah, he wants to look out the doors if he wants. And he's not going to get it, boo-boo. No, you're not going to get it. Okay, so this is too freaking cute. So this is when I picked the longest, widest setting on the stitch, and this is when I picked default. So it's a lot smaller, and I love it. That is so cute. Let's do it again. Oops. Stop. He's just standing next to me like an angry little boy. <laughs> He's too much. Brothers Project Runway Limited Edition CE1125PRW. <laughs> Got it at Walmart a couple years ago now. Um, and it's been working great for me. I've had a couple versions of it. I did have the one before that. I always get a warranty because, I mean, I'm new to sewing, so I knew I was going to probably break it at some point. So the warranty was very, very important to get. <laughs> so I've gone through a couple of them through warranty, and, you know, warranty is always good. Okay. So let's finish up this pocket here. It has a bunch of stitches. I really only use a handful of them, but it's nice to have them. Okay, so now that I did all the little scallops and they look so cute, they look much cuter than they did in, in the big that I did originally. Robin, hello, girl. We are finishing up the last pocket here. But we are happy you're here with us. <laughs> Let's finish this up. There's a couple of fabrics. I have two on the strip. And I just like to kind of patch them up a little bit like that. Okay, so now let me take off all these strings. 
and it's time to cut this out into the into the pocket shape. Like I said, if you don't have the shapes, um, then you can just sew around all the edge and use that as a pocket. I've done that as well. And it looks cute too. And again, I wouldn't do any of these fancy stitches except that this is cardstock, then it's fabric. So that's the only reason why I would do these fancy stitches. If this was just regular cardstock, that's why I do this because I've tested that on regular cardstock. Um, but sometimes the stitches that are really, really close, they don't work on just cardstock. So that's why I'm doing all these elaborate stitches. Otherwise, I wouldn't. Okay, so let's cut it out into the pocket shape. I'm using my Sizzix. And again, um, this die cut. That was something I needed. Okay, and I'm also using this die cut set if you're new, if you're just popping in. I don't know what brand it is. I bought it off somebody from Facebook, and this is how it came up. Um, is the paper strips on cardstock? No, the paper strips are actually... Um, yeah, the paper, it's fabric um, with packing paper, and I put that on top of uh, cardstock. Yes, that's the sandwich. So I don't, know what sh I don't know what set this is. I don't know what brand it is. There's no brand on any of the die cuts on any of the sets. Um, but it's a really different type of die cut. I don't know if this is scissors, but it might be. Okay, so let me go get that thing that just fell down. <laughs> Okay, so no, I don't need to clean off my desk at all. No. <laughs> okay, so let's get this pocket cut up. We'll put it kind of towards the front. Okay. Okay, here we go. I can't show everything in the camera because it's kind of like the opposite way that my camera is facing. Ooh, that sounded like it always sounds like it's breaking something, but it never does. It just sounds like it. Is. I've been afraid a couple of times because it really sounds like something broke. It's just the sounds it makes. But then I do like to cut it several times. Times the better. Okay. Okay, let's see if that's it. Okay, that about did it. So just gotta cut out the parts that have all the thread on them. Right there. Okay. Okay, that looks good. So now, I'm going to do the final stitch on it, which you can leave it like this. However, I did not um, put glue everywhere, so some of the edges might come out, and I don't want that to happen. So I like to do one final stitch here, which is just with the zigzag, but I like to finish off the edges, which is what I like to call it. What? Oh, oh. Okay, you guys. That's Ooh, well, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> Okay, you guys, thank you guys so much for joining me today as I had a little bit of fun with a nice, uh, fun set of die cuts and some awesome stitches. It's fun to kind of experiment what different stitches look like at different lengths. You can get different types of results. So, yeah, you're right. That would be a pretty cool frame right here for a photo or something. <laughs> 
Okay, guys, I will see you guys on Monday. I hope you guys have a good weekend. Have some fun and be safe, you guys. Enjoy the, the holiday time with your loved ones. And I will enjoy my holiday time with Boo Boo, who's over here talking to me. He demands, he's standing by the door and demanding that I open it, you guys. I'm going to figure out what to do. So, you guys, I will see you guys on Monday. Have a good weekend. Bye.